Hey everybody, so I'm finally doing an updated um, bleaching tutorial on how I color my hair extensions blonde. Um, everybody's been asking me to do it, so I thought that I would um, finally do this. Um, I just want to say that I'm not a professional. This is just what I do and what works for me. Um, and if you don't like it, then you should go get your hair done professionally. So I'm just going to walk you through the steps and tell you everything that you need and what I use. First, you, of course, you'll need some hair extensions. Um, and then you'll need bleaching powder. I use BW2 by Clairol. You'll need some developer. I use 40 um, volume cream developer, but you can use any strength that you would like. You'll need a bowl to mix it in. I usually use a mixing bowl, but it's not big enough for all the weave that I'm bleaching, so I used a bigger bowl. You'll need some brushes to apply um, the bleach with and the toner. And you'll also need some gloves to protect your hands from the chemicals. And so the first thing that we're going to do is mix the powder and the developer. And this is a very important stage in this process. You want to make sure that you follow the directions that are on the back of the bleaching powder to a T. You don't want to eyeball it and wait until it turns pasty because there's a chance that your hair may not bleach properly. So you always want to follow the directions unless you're a professional or you've been doing this for years and years. I'm not a professional. I follow the directions on the back. And so for BW2, I believe that it's like six scoops um, and then like 163 mLs. And so I just used the scooper that it came with and then I measured the developer to pour in there. And then you want to just mix it all together. And for mixing, um, you want to make sure if you can that you mix more than less because it would be horrible for you to run out of bleaching cream in this process. So the first thing that I do is I begin to bleach um, or place the bleach on the ends of the hair. The ends of the hair usually take the longest to process, so you want to place the bleach on the ends of the hair um, so that it has a longer time to bleach. And so I just keep doing that over and over again. And, al and also during this time you want to keep track of um, the time that you begin processing the hair because you do not want to over bleach your extensions that's very damaging to the hair so <clears throat> you want to keep placing it on the ends of the hair because that's the hair that processed the slowest as I mentioned before and then as you, as you finish on doing that then you want to slowly begin to um, take the bleach upward so you want to bleach upward so that hair can process as you see here. And for me, I don't like for my color to go straight across. So what I do is try to create, as you'll see me doing here in a second, just a little bit of, um, you know, a feathering effect so that it doesn't look so straight across. And then after, of course, you want to turn the extensions over because, of course, you didn't get all of the hair. Um, you want to turn the extensions over and you want to begin doing the same thing like you did on the front side and you want to cover the extensions. And you want to just keep on until your extensions get covered as you see here in the video. You want to just keep on placing that bleach on the hair. And you also want to keep paying attention to the time. So after that, the only thing that I did is just roll the extensions up. Um, and after I rolled the extensions up, um, I just leave it to the side to be processed. And I did that for every bundle of hair that I used, and I used four bundles. Okay? And so, of course, after you get all your extensions bleached, you want to lay them out and you want to check on them periodically so you can keep track of how they're processing. As you see, the first bundle that I did is the most yellow here, and the other ones are still processing, and this this yellow one's almost ready to go, as you can see. And like I mentioned, you wanna check on the hair periodically um, to make sure you're not over-processing the hair. But for me, um, I leave my bleach on for at least 45 minutes. 
and if when I take a look at the hair, it doesn't look like it's ready, then I might leave it on for another um, five to 10 minutes or so, just making sure that I'm not over processing the hair. Um, but you know, one thing about bleach is that it's very deceiving. You look at the hair and it looks bright and you're like, oh my gosh, it's time to wash it out. And then you wash it out and the hair is not as bright as it was with the bleach on it. The bleach makes the hair look blonder. So you want to keep that in mind when you're washing the hair. You want to pay close attention to that when you're watching the hair, not washing, sorry. <laughs> And so after it's ready for the bleach to be washed out, what I use is Shimmer Light Shampoo, and it's for blonde hair, and it just helps pull the um, yellow and orange tones out of it. And so after you wash it, it should look like this yellowish color right here. And at this point, this is when you would decide to either tone the hair to take the brassiness and yellow tones out of the hair or you can just get some blonde dye and I don't mean like dark and lovely blonde dye I mean like um, Caucasian or white people when they dye their hair blonde that would turn this hair a blonde color but for me I tone my hair because um, I don't know I just like to tone it but I have hues dye before and it works fine so I use Weller Weller Wella color charm toner and I can get that from Sally's. And then I use Red Gold Corrector Plus, which you can also get from Sally's. So like I mentioned before, you want to pay attention to the directions on how to mix these, you know, bleaching and toning products properly. So for this Willa Color Charmer, I'm going to be using two bottles. Um, and I'll sh show you here how I mixed it. It's one part toner, two parts developer, which means... You pour the toner in and then you want to pour double the amount of developer. And so that's what I did here. As you can see, I made a little mess. I spilled it. Um, but it doesn't matter if you spill it or not. So you just want to pay attention to how much developer you're adding. And so I added a little less this time since I added way too much the first time. You just want to pay attention and go slow, as I didn't demonstrate the best here. Okay, and so after you add the developer to the toner, you want to begin... Um, adding the drops of the Gold Corrector Plus. Now they have specific suggestions on how many drops to use per, like, I don't know, per ounce or something like that. Um, and it's like 30 drops per something, but I just put like 60 drops in this and felt like that sufficed fine because that's the amount that I've used in the past. Um, so that's what I used. And so then you want to begin mixing it all together, okay? And the ending concoction, or what I call it, the ending toner, um, is going to end up looking like a purple jelly type substance. And so you want to mix it all in really well. You want to mix the toner in with the color corrector drops really well. You want it all to be a smooth consistency. And so... After you got that, you want to take your extensions, see how yellow they look, and you want to begin basically applying that toner anywhere that you placed bleach or anywhere that you see color on the hair extensions. So that's pretty much all over the hair extensions. And you want to use the same method that you used in, with the bleach. You want to apply it to one side, and after that side is saturated, you want to apply it to the other side. Now, when I'm applying a bleach, I don't completely saturate the hair because I want different tones of blonde. But when I'm applying this toner, I saturate the hair because even with the different tones of blonde, I want them all to tone. Okay? And so, just like this, you want to keep an eye on how long you let it process. 
I leave the toner on the hair for 30 minutes to an hour at a time, depending on how fast or slow the hair is processing, which can be due to a number of things. Um, it is con con kind of hard to tell with it on there, but you just want to pay close attention. So for me, I left it on there for about 45 minutes, I believe, and then I washed it out with the Shimmer Light Shampoo. And then after I washed out with the Shimmer Light Shampoo, I put this, this silicone mix conditioner on the hair, and I let that conditioner sit on the hair for about Add an hour, some actually. some softness and sheen back to the hair after being bleached and processed. And as you can see, after I've rinsed out the toner, it's completely different. It looks more blonde, and it definitely doesn't look as yellow as it did before. And this is after I have rinsed the conditioner out the hair. Out the hair, it looks very pretty and healthy. And so after letting the hair dry, this is the color of the hair extensions. It's a very, very pretty blonde. Um, and that's pretty much how I do this. So, of course, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them below. Um, of course, I put all the information about each product I used and where I purchased those products in the description box. And if you have any questions that I did not answer, um, I'll be happy to try to help you with that. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped. Bye.